What's going on guys? My name is Doug. Welcome to the video. I'm very happy to see you guys here again today. So Joji dropped the track called Run and uh, basically we're going to be listening to it today. It's about 3 minutes 15 seconds long. I'm excited. I thought Joji's last project was really dope. The reaction to it is on my channel. If you want to go check that out, that'd be really cool. I'd appreciate that. I don't know. I think it's just going to be nice to hear from him. It's been a while. So um, I'm excited. I'm glad to be here. You all know how you can support the channel. So I'm going to just leave that to you. Let you do your thing. I'm going to do my thing. We're going to get into it. Not waste your time. This is Run by Joji. Let's see what this sounds like. Call up for your magic. You stop from the end. I'm getting like hosier vibes. Oh, if we share it. Wow. Wow, dude. Whoa, okay. That's going on my playlist. Ah, the harmonies, dude. That's awesome. I love that little riff. I'm loving this. Love it. Yo, okay, firstly, I was expecting a quality track. I expect Joji to come with fire. So I want, I, I knew this was gonna be good. But this is way better than expected. In terms of like, it's as good as I thought it was going to be, but the vibe is, is so much different than what I was expecting. You know, his last project had a lot of like slower synth heavy ballads, and this is something a little more along the lines of like rock, and it's uh, it's got a more epic like cinematic vibe, and so that's where um, it's better than I was expecting it to be, you know, I, I prefer this vibe I, I think that obviously on my first reaction of his last project there were some songs I didn't necessarily like so much and then they grew on me Whereas this was immediately appealing to me because I, I'm just a huge fan of this style And so having it come out of left field was just a delight honestly um, I added it to my playlist basically as soon as I heard the the drums come in because uh, th there's really no complaints here. I think that that when the track starts off so soft and we get that little um, guitar melody, the 6-8 guitar melody that's like a p arpeggiated, um, it, it's really smooth and you hear him singing and he's got really nice vibrato and he's got um, a really dope vocal technique and he's got really nice performance and he's showing emotion and passion in his vocals. So already I'm, my interest is peaked but Man, when that when the the music and the the, the drums actually drop, um, and we get that main riff, oh my god, it, it's such a killer vibe to this song, man. And absolutely, I love the artwork. It completely makes sense now. Um, the artwork is really fitting for this song. Really digging this. Uh, I, I'm I'm super excited to see if this is the lane that he decides to go into for his next project. Honestly, because I think that this is great. I love the six eight swing to it. Um, can't really say anything bad about it. I, I, I don't see any flaws with it in terms of execution, techniques, mixing, production. The guitar solo was epic. I don't think it's missing anything at all. So um, this is a great track in my opinion. I can't wait to go back into it and, and pay a little bit more attention to the lyrics. You all know if you've been watching the channel for a while that I pick out a lot more of the production elements on the first listen than I do with the lyrics. And yeah, I, I'm just, I'm loving this. Let me know what you guys are thinking about this song in the comments section. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I'm gonna be doing videos for the Trippy Red single, the Lil Tecca single, um, and the new Da Baby track as well. So be sure to check those out. Check out some of the beats that I posted recently. I think that they're really great. And uh, I just really appreciate all the support you've been showing to the channel. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Until then, stay safe. Peace out. Oh,